All right, wasn't the best night by any means. We have a slip up here or there, and uh, it's disappointing, to say the least. I don't know if this is coffee from last night, if it was coffee left over from this morning, but uh, it could actually be two days old. So I'm going to drink it, and we'll see. And if this is anything like the karma or fate that I'm owed, this has been here for a couple of days now. Well, it's definitely not from this morning, I can tell you that. All right, um, more punishment. <sighs> I'm sure is going to be coming here. Uh, you make, can you get me like a piece of bread or something? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna just. Yeah, this is going to be rough. You know, based on what happened last night, especially in the Discord, I should probably just take another one of these. Look, you know, there's there's stuff in here. See, I don't want it to spill on the keyboard. Ah, now it's spilled all over the place. I'm trying to show you what's going on. It's spilled all over the place. Thinking, ah, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. You know, you know, I don't deserve to ask you to do this, but you should please hit the thumbs up button and, and at least subscribe if, if you can, because I had a rough one, but others did not. I know Raza was hitting a bunch of college, and we have so many other people that are doing great things here. It's, it's up and down. It's up and down. So let's get into it. Let's build ourselves an NBA parlay, right? And we had some ups, we had some downs, and Blazers seemed to be a savior for us last night. Let's look at what we have first and foremost, and we talked a little bit about this on the five and five, about so many guys just being down right now in this Suns Magic game. So what we can at least try to target, if we're not going to look at just the overall team total, I think, uh, pardon me, game total, would be team totals here. And much like we've seen where it just happened last night with this Wizards Ma uh, Mavericks team, I think the expectation is that you're going to see some bench guys. You're going to see some guys that don't clamp down defensively as much, especially if Chris Paul is out here. But looking at that total 216 or so, I think you can look at this game two ways. If you were just betting it, I think you would take the Orlando Magic to win. Like, all right, put a sprinkle on here. But Paolo Bencaro aside, I think you can take the seven. And let me say this. The caveat here is this. And you can hit me up in the chat, the comments below when the news comes. If and only if Bencaro is out, do you take this and you go from plus seven and you go right away to under 104 and a half team total. That's it. Like that's it. Ben Caro is in. We're going to take the seven and we're going to roll with the seven. He's out. You're watching this and you have the benefit of hindsight. Maybe this dips. Maybe this adjusts. Most likely it will. That's fine. That's okay. But that's the only caveat. As of right now, we're going to roll like Paul is out and Ben Caro is in. At the very least that Ben Caro is in. So we're good here. That's our first leg, the Orlando Magic at home. This is a road trip here for the Phoenix Suns. This is not a team that is full either, at least health-wise. Still trying to figure out a lot of offensive production that they got from Cam Johnson. Look, they're not in trouble by any means, but on the road right now, going through in early stages of it, you can see how either the Magic would slip them up or it's simply a matter of, all right, let's just get in, get out, and do the bare necessity. This is a Thursday night football game for the Phoenix Suns, make no mistake. There's a pretty uh, tall task here in another game that I want to add to, and that's 230 and a half. That number is just a little too high for me and should be for you as well, a little too close for comfort, if you will. Now, if you look at just where Boston has played clearly, you know, seven to four, the over. And Denver as well is just one game above 500, six and five to the over. If you want to break it down a little bit more and look at, well, you know, the Boston Celtics are at home. They're crushing these totals. They're four and one to the over. Yeah, Denver is actually doing okay, even though they're not covering spreads away from home they're awful away from home the over is five and two so if you just look at the trends right now you think to yourself hey this is going to be a smash fest right now you start to look at team totals you start to look at adjustments you start to look at the fact that hey if you and i 
recognize that both of these teams are crushing the over when it comes to recent trends. You know who else is aware of this? This very book and others. I think this has been over-adjusted. It's the NBA stuff moves fast early in the season. This has been over-adjusted. I wouldn't be shocked if this dipped to 229 and a half by the time we hit tip. And I want to get in at 230 and a half as our second leg. So right away, we're juiced up here with the Magic at plus seven and under 230 and a half. Now we have a couple more games to get to tonight, including Sacktown out west with the Lakers. I'm going to tell you about what's going on at DraftKings and everything, but let's just do this first. <laughs> you know, I, he's not up here, but I wish, I really wish he were. So if you just want to look at where the Lakers are right now, as far as giving up threes, they're kind of in this bottom tier. They've been defending the three a little bit better. So right away, I want to see, can I get a decent number above two, one and a half? That's going to get me plus money back on the return. And the answer is no, because Kevin Herter, in order to go two and a half, I'm going to need plus money here. So I'm not going to be able to work that by any means. What I do think I can look at here and where the defense of the perimeter might be a little lax is either under one and a half or pardon me, over one and a half for Harrison Barnes or just go with the, I hate to use the term safer, but safer play and under one and a half threes for De'Aaron Fox. Now we're moving here. You see, now we're moving plus 628. So we're in good shape. And I think that's the start of this parlay. Now, let me show you what's going on over at where we are here, DraftKings. But just to run it back, we're not done yet. We're going to keep adding. We're going to keep supersizing. We are not finished. But I want to show you at the very least these three legs and how we can build a pretty easy baseline plus 628. Like the video could end right now and you should walk away happy. You're greedy. You're selfish. You want more. So am I. That's why we make such a great match. Here's what you can do. Click the link below. It's going to bring you to DraftKings. You're probably not on DraftKings for some reason. I don't know. Some weird reasons. It's a pretty odd thing to do. But whatever. Click the link below. It's going to bring you to DraftKings. Sign up. Put in five and only $5. That's it. That's all you need. Just $5. From there, this is the big thing. From there, put that $5 immediately. You can either put it on Fresno State tonight. Whoops. Fresno State tonight or Tennessee on Saturday. Either way, it has to be a money line play. And for goodness sakes, only one. Don't parlay that. Just one. Don't tease that. Just one. Either or. If you don't want to wait, Put it on Fresno. If you want to wait, put it on Tennessee. That's it. And as soon as either of these teams win, it's going to turn right back into $200. That's it. Right back. Huge. Now, speaking of right back, let's get back to our parlay builder. The last leg that I want to put in here, look at this thing moving already, plus three and a half here. Minnesota and the Warriors are the two teams that I want to target. We've already hit you with that Lakers there. So let's go to the Wolves game. So a really disappointing effort from Carl Anthony Towns, foul trouble, what have you. We also know that there's a guy who is sneakily finding his way when it comes to three-point shots, and that's D'Angelo Russell. So I'm going to add, this is a big add here. I'm going to add over two and a half threes for D'Angelo Russell. But wait, but wait, we can't get out of here quite yet. I need it. I need it. Just just give me one more. Just give me one more. Won't be a three here. You don't have to worry about that. Warriors, though, looking at the injury reports, you know, trying to figure out what may or may not happen with Golden State. What I think is interesting here, you know, everybody's healthy for now. Load management aside. Everybody's healthy. We're just going to take the Warriors to win this game at home. Plus 2866. There you have it. Magic plus seven under 230 and a half for the Nuggets Celtics under one and a half for the Lakers. Uh, De'Aaron Fox against the Lakers from three. Over two and a half threes from Russell and the Warriors on the money line. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate it. Let's cash it. 